Now I am delighted to be joined by APA President Dr. Jeffrey Geller to discuss this unprecedented year for APA, its members, and the communities that they serve. Dr. Geller, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for having me. I'm delighted to be here with you today. So you began your term as president of APA last year in the middle of a pandemic. How has COVID impacted existing health inequities and disparities? What COVID did was create a situation that worsened health care inequities and disparities that were already in existence. Racial and ethnic populations that were already lacking access to quality health care and might have had higher rates of illness were then faced with this pandemic. What also happened was the demand for psychiatric treatment, as well as the presence of anxiety and depression throughout the population went through the roof, and mental health is not immune to disparities in care. And we know that you have created the APA Presidential Task Force on Assessment of Psychiatric Bed Needs in the United States. Can you talk a little bit about what that task force is supposed to be doing? I convened this task force because we really don't have a grasp on how much care is available in this country for people with severe mental illness and substance use disorders. I wanted the task force to develop a model that would help states and localities determine the on-the-ground capacity to treat people with serious mental illness and substance use disorders. How accurate number of beds is determined in a community when the beds that exist are scattered throughout a fragmented system? And can you briefly outline the model that you have developed? The task force has drafted a white paper that assesses psychiatric inpatient beds, as well as community services and alternatives that might mitigate the demand for adult and child adolescent inpatient beds. They also developed two models that reflect the complexities of the adult and the child adolescent system. To give you a sense of the work we did, we had seven subgroups that took on the historic and contemporary use of psychiatric service beds, the definition of a psychiatric bed, the financing of psychiatric beds, the ideal service system, population variables, children and adolescents, and the creation of the model. So how much progress would you say has already been made by the task force and what are the next steps? Uh, the work of the task force itself is sunsetted, but the content will continue in some form or another and members should keep a watch for opportunities to become directly involved in the next iteration. Wonderful. Well, congratulations on what I'm sure has been a very memorable year. Dr. Jeffrey Geller, thank you so much for your time today. We certainly appreciate it. You're welcome, and thank you for having me.